How are y'all? It's a very wet 1st of August. It's in the afternoon now. So here we have a calf, and this calf had a problem. The cow he had out of had a fantastic udder, or elder as we call it. But unfortunately, he must have had that cow. But for some reason, he ended up having virtually no milk. The calf was starved to death. So I run the cow up the chute in the normal way, right up. And when I get to, uh, uh, to here, I have, to, I have this closed and I shut out the, the gate so she can't get back. Now, what I do is I feed her meal in the tray and when she puts the head through, I lock the, the gate on her so she can't pull back out. And then you can open out your, your side gates and let your calf in. So there it's happening in practice. And uh, just to show you now the, the, the design of this, these are bolted to the wall. And as such, they're very strong. Really can't think of any disadvantage to them. You have that extra hold, and there they're bolted on the wall. Now, the gates on it are like this. And one of the great things about these type gates is you can open these out and let a cow in for a section. If you have to do a cesarean section, most vets like you to do it from the left. Also, if they have foot problems on the left-hand side, you need to put them in in reverse. So with this design, it's quite easy to run their cow up there. And uh, I have a hole in the wall. I have a bit more work to do. I want to put steel plates on the wall. But you have a hole in the wall there, and you can, prob you can put it behind the cow or the animal and not let them back up front. It is my hope to put a, a, gate, a gate here make a gate that will allow you to catch the head because the last time I had a section I had to put a halter on the cow and to hold her hold her with the halter there while the vet performed the section and it worked quite well now some gates you can simply lift out the bars but you can see how simple this is you need just something heavy like a, a lump of wood and tap out those and tap there are only two and then you get the whole gate out and then in this case here when I, uh, when we're done with the calf and I want to let him, let, 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 let him out or end the process, I can simply let the cow out by opening this here and letting the cow out sideways. And uh, there's an awful lot of advantages to this type of design. So just to see it again there, this cow will not let that calf suck if she can. She tries to stop him and um, she tries to stop him and um, she'll kick him. Now some cows will take with the calf no problem. Some will take with the calf no problem, but some won't. This cow is over three months rearing that calf like that. Uh, she had, she has enough milk for her own calf and this calf. But even if they're, even if they lose the calf, you'll often find some cows will not let them do it. And particularly the limousines tend to be a bit, tend to be a bit contrary like that. So we just pause for a second. So I store a few bales, a few square bales of hay up there. Might as well, if you're able to get them up. Good light hay. It's a storage place for bales as well. So it's teeming rain now, folks. 1st of August, 2022, with some great weather. And you see the design of the sculling gate. That lever is a, is a spring of a car. And then you have this design on it here. It can sw switch it over and back. And then you can jam this one here in, 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 in the appropriate hole for it. And here's another way of doing a, a bar. If you get a bit of channel iron, a bit of channel iron, you can put, uh, that's, I think it's three quarter inch steel and make, make a handle there. You see how it, flows, it floats over and back. And so you have an automatic channel. Don't forget that you don't have to go welding hoops or anything. Just weld a couple of um, holders there. And hold it each end and you have an ideal little um, bar holder homemade bar here's the the gate um here's the gate uh, hinges getting very wet now so it's a bit uncomfortable and then it, it bolts into the wall <coughs> bolts into the wall like this and uh, so you have this here and for the for the bar and you have another one here for more of them the post here's gone rotten so this is this one is finished. This this um, shoot is a four. It's a four uh, post affair made out of railroad sleepers up against a good stone wall, good roof shed, and so that's that's it, folks. Now one of the things I might try to do is to um, put this gate on the end of the shoot in the shed. 
or put a similar one on it so that you can catch the animal's head there if you're doing any operation and that that would be work in progress and another idea folks i'll put a number on this video it's for I think it's 46M, I'm not sure. Well, I'll put a number on this video on the, underneath and I'll, I'm wet now, so I'm gonna to have to change. In we go, and thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up and a thumbs down. I hope what I've written, what I've put here, this video will be useful to people starting in farming or people coming up with ideas. I can tell you, this gate works a dream. This gate has done so much work. So much has been done there, both for myself and many neighbors when they were, when nobody had them. Now there's another little pin goes in there for an extra pin you can just do that drill it you need a good a reasonably good drill press to do this of course and you need a welder and um, that'll do but not a big job so look folks i'm off bye bye thank you very much we'll see you